Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woken, I'm back with another episode of Dragalia Lost. It's not episodes. I'm sorry, I just got finished recording a Pokemon Nuzlocke, so I'm still thinking about episodes. <laughs> anyway, today's video, I'm going to be playing around with Veronica over here. What, she just got her new Mana Spiral. I think I've decided, just because I've literally run out of toilet paper, I'm only doing two out of the four Mana Spirals for Fire Emblem. Uh, and I chose Veronica and Marth because they're the most uh, easily currently good mana spirals of all the units. And the reason I say that is because Fjorm has her place only really in HBH, not yeah, in High Brune Hilda. And I already have Hunter Cerise for that, so I don't need uh, <laughs> I don't need her for it. And Alphonse, I haven't heard a single thing about Alphonse, so there you go. So we're gonna be playing around with Veronica today. So let's start with going into the Mercury Gauntlet. And remember, of course, if you end up liking this video, leave a like. It helps me out a whole bunch. Let's me know that you like what I'm doing. I'm doing good if you end up... That is if you like the video and you like it. That is. Not to pressure you into it. If you want to subscribe to me and see more Dragalia videos, or in general, videos that I do, I think I'm a pretty cool guy. That's a lie. I don't actually think I'm cool. I'm lame. And that's why I'm playing... Uh... I don't know where I'm going with this. Anyway, so here's the very basics of it. You want to get low on HP for Veronica, and you also want to dip below 30%. Uh, that's where you want to be with her. So let me uh, start by activating that. Then go right there. Her, uh, her skill two is the healer, and the skill one is the one that lowers your um, uh, lowers your HP when you use it. So you have to be kind of careful this should drop us below there we go so she's now activated her thing she's boosting up our teammates here let me see there we go activate that then activate that it's broken perfect we shouldn't need dragon or anything for this uh. but every time she also activates the skill she gets like five percent of her skills charged and stuff and he's down she doesn't have also the greatest weapon because I have an um, and she's, How disappointing. she just has a chimera tech for me and the prints that she's using which I should actually show off what they are um no I'll do that next just to quickly well 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 while I'm getting ready for the next fight which I'll be going into. I think she would work out pretty good in Jupiter. The one thing that I think would be a problem is, at least currently, is that a lot of people would want Gleo, which is Gallic Cleo, which she shares the same, um, she shares the same, uh, type with. So, not type, but the class with. So she ends up being like, oh, we want Gallic Cleo because she's insanely broken and you brought Veronica. So some players are just not going to want your Veronica regardless, but I think she's perfectly fine. So the two prints she has right here are Candy Couriers, which is Broken Punisher and wants skill damage. And then the other one is Primal Crisis, which Flurry Strength 20% and Flurry Devastation. Flurry Strength increases strength by 20% when the combo count is 15 or higher, max 20%. And Flurry Devastation increases critical rate by 10% when the combo count is 15 or higher. And I want to say that you would want to run her with... Curran and Berserker, but I don't really have uh, them ready. And also, I think that would probably be best for like a when you're playing co op with her specifically. This is me playing solo though. So, we're gonna jump into standard Jupiter because it's gonna be easier than finding an actual match of regular Jupiter. I just wanted to show her in the this fight specifically. Uh, we should, there's about a 50 50 chance I just completely bung this up and we lose. So, heads up because it is kind of random with how the cpu will react to jupiter but we should be fine because i've also brought in a friend uh who should help us with some of the damage drop below here you can see she basically fully went up hp i gotta keep my distance hope that my teammates do the same Perfect. Going through it. Got her. Damn it, she's gonna get him. No, she didn't. Thank God. Okay. Doing good. Doing alright. Gonna go here. Uh oh. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. She she broke, but that's still not good because that 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 yeah. 
now. It regret didn't it. matter. Damn it. Alright. I'll shut you out. No, gotta go dragon. Damn it. I did not make it in time. Thank you, Cleo, for not using your anything. Well, I'm gonna let him just kill me. Thank you. Hurt me, you punk! So I can revive everyone, basically. I can't believe he's currently not hitting me at all. That's fine. I'm gonna at least try and uh, put up the... There we go. Perfect. Oh, that's bad, because her and Alex are gonna revive in the... Ah, oh, damn it, if I just waited a little bit. There we go. Damn it! Alright, that's bad. I'm gonna try and use that real quick and see if I can save this. Alright. The unfortunate thing is that I didn't use the skill in time for... Alright, so I'm gonna give up here. Because there's no chance of winning this one on solo. To be fair, you're supposed to do it co-op, so it was really just supposed to show her doing it, but now I kind of want to... It is possible to do it solo, but... Damn it. Alright, I'm going to show it again, just to show that she, they can totally beat it. It went kind of sideways there at the end, but I was showing her off good enough, but I, it's not going to feel right unless I actually get a clear with it. So we're going to go in one more time. Go for it. Again, to be fair, a lot of it is going to be very tough with CPU just because the CPU doesn't know how to react. And a lot of the times they die to like really big moves and stuff. And I didn't drag it in time as well. Okay. Let's see. Perfect. To be fair, I think also when she healed, that was actually Cleo healing me and not the thing I was thinking of. Okay. We got this stuff. No one die. Overdrive. Okay, perfect. I can use the dragon's power. Okay, well, she should be entering. He should be entering some kind of break state soon. Perfect. I'm gonna use that just to protect them. Hopefully. This is a challenge I did not expect to face. Okay, sure. I descend. Perfect. Alright, I got the dragon to kill that for me, so he should, she should be died. Amplify is gonna be a real problem, though. Alright, I'm gonna get dragon. Just to save this. Oh, come on. Damn chicken bird. Okay. There's that. I have you now. No, what are you doing? Okay, I was talking to me, I not- <laughs> I was saying to me, like, what are you doing? Hurry up and move to the side! Okay, run. I, of course, did not run. Oh, she survived! Oh, thank god for that heal. Thank you so much, Cleo. Die! Thank you. Alright, now let's go into Cayenne. I'm also not doing co-op, but you can see... Very good. Not bad considering that I don't play a lot of Jupiter. But the main thing about Jupiter is that you don't, um, not that you don't want to. Uh, there's definitely, you can definitely play DBS. Like Iyasu's great because he has a long animation to fight Jupiter. But if you're someone like me, who's not the greatest at um, uh, up close battles, then someone like Jupiter is fantastic because all you need to do, someone like Veronica is great because all you need to do is head back, think carefully when dodging, and you know, not have to worry about much. All right, now let's go into Guido. Cayenne, hello Cayenne. Now last time I did Cayenne, I accepted the weekly bonus. No, not Cayenne, I did it for um, uh, Volk. That's what I did it for. And then Lerp immediately said, why did you do that? And I said, well, I need it. And then he said, well, you should have saved it for expert. And I said, shut up Lerp, it's my video. <laughs> I'm gonna do what I want. I didn't tell him to shut up. He had a very good I point. He made a fantastic extinction. point. Shout out Stiller. So for this one again, it's kind of like you the way of evolution. it's gonna you're gonna have the same problems in Jupiter as you had uh, in Cayenne with. We will overcome this. Oh wait, I forgot. Okay, you still kind of want to take damage with. Um... 
uh, with Veronica. So hit me once again, old man. I need to drop the 30. Thank you. All right, let's go here. Unfortunately, her skill one only drop can't drop her lower than 50. Really? Okay, fine. And no one gonna hit this man? Yeah, but that's actually the one kind of not great thing about her skill one is that it can't drop her below 30%, so you have to still rely on the enemy doing it to you instead. Okay, so I'm gonna back up. This should, I think, drop me to 30. No, really? I can still endure. This should. No, that wasn't a damage. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. More damage. Hit me, old man. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Perfect. No, get out of the way. Perfect. But I got her exactly where I wanted, which is low HP thanks to that move. Perfect. Broken. Get out of my face. Oh, we don't have a healer anymore. So that should actually help, because Cleo's healing actually kind of does get in the way. I got out of the way of that. Oh. I need to see if I survive, because I need to see... I wasn't going to be able to survive. Damn shame. Let's see if I can take this hit. Damn it! I flew too close to the sun. I wanted to see her take some damage, but it's fine. This fight's basically over. Yeah. You will fall. Yeah. I, the only reason I like purposely tried to see if, was to see if I could get her lower and see how much crazy damage she could deal. But eh, it's fine. I think I've made. Uh, but uh, I think I've made my point. I didn't really make a point. That's Veronica, though. She's great. I think it. it um, Marf kind of takes a lot of the shine because he's such a crazy damage dealer. He's insanely good. But I think Veronica's also really good. They kind of both are so good that they kind of outshine the other two's um, mana spiral. Which, funny enough, I did say in the video that I think it's very likely with Fjorm with her... Um, uh, with her mana spiral, you were gonna see the return of her soloing four teams with, um, just using her. She was gonna be able to beat, uh, Hybrid Helda, and it turned out, like, yeah, she can beat, um, Expert in about 20 seconds, and then Master she can beat in, I think, close to the same amount, so, <laughs> kinda crazy. But, yeah, that's the end of today's video. Hope you liked it. I hope the, I wanted to play around with her, show her off. I spent a lot of resources to get her that way so i kind of want to definitely always do a video if i'm going to mana spiral someone because they usually end up being worth it for the most part they're really good but you always have to be careful of picking and choosing like i feel kind of sorry for anyone who like picked um cassandra or picked um uh any other mana spiral for wands because it's like they they've been all be getting replaced um let me try to remember, because her name is right here. I have her. I didn't mana spiral her, though. I wanted to so badly, but I chose not to. Let me see. She should be under Shadow Wand. There she is. Althema. There you go. She has a mana spiral, and now it's like kind of like... Uh, so here's the thing. The reason I say it might be troubling for you, because Althema players have trouble, because they share the same um, class as Galicleo, and... Most people just want Galicleo, and it's kind of shitty, to be honest. Um, but hey, it is what it is. That's the end of today's video. I hope you liked it. Remember, leave a like if you did. Subscribe to me for some more video stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Have a nice day.